What's up, roommates? What's poppin', roommates? Look, it's to interrupt y'all and bring y'all a good live, okay? We just gonna forget about everything real quick, and for the next few minutes, just... For the next few minutes, just keep rocking with us, because it's about to be a good interview. As always, I'm your girl, Raylan T, and I'm always here with... And it's your boy... We all scared. It's close. It's okay. Um, Nevada need to get it together. Georgia need to get it together. Pennsylvania. Nevada. Who else we waiting on? Arizona. And North Carolina. Yeah, Nevada, y'all playing, playing. If y'all need us to come over here and count them votes, just say that. Okay? We will be there. But no, this is, this is what I want to talk about. Mm. Anybody in here that goes to Arby's, please let me know. But I just want to know, where is Arby's getting their money from? From know. the back door because no, they, you know what they have really great commercials. They've had a really good marketing. But eleven billion to buy Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins though. I I I had Arby's once. You ever ate Arby's? I've never actually had Arby's ever. Yeah. It's not all that. It's not good. I feel like it's for old people. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I do have to shout out Young BBQ. Hey, listen. We need to do a dance battle or something because look, Shorty be really in the neighborhood. She know she be getting it. I wish. <laughs> Is your man on the floor? Oh my god. Want, let me know. We need to. She needs to teach us how we can right. be more smoother on this live, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Look, like I said, thanks for rocking with us mm -hmm. on this Thursday. We wait for this election results. On this thirsty Thursday, thirsty so if you got Thursday. a cup, get a please cup. get a cup of wine, tequila, Hennessy, Casamigos, the 1942. If you got the Zool and you want to ring the bell, ding, 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 do all that. Please. We know who do that lick it dirty. Time. Okay, so guys, <laughs> y'all know who we got? Do y'all hear who we got in the background? We got Darkio. We got Durkio <laughs> stepping into the shade room today, man. He just dropped the record, Stay Down. Oh, my Young God. Young Thug in Black, so shout out to him. Woo. The this, voice. This is the one right here. Yeah, this is the one war right here. So, guys, yes, got little Dirk stepping into the shade room. Guys. Is that a picture of J. Cole on the wall? It sure is. Shout out to Jermaine. And over here, you got K-Dot. You know, you know, you know the aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. oh no! Okay, okay, okay. It's a whole Arby's commercial. Guys, what's you guys' favorite little Dirk song? Drop it in the comments right Let's now. Let's see if Dirk is in here. Hold up, Dirk, if you in here, drop a comment for us. I gotta run that stay down back. <clears throat> That's the one right now. Mm 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 mm. We gotta ask him about this fire track, y'all. I'm trying to see what y'all saying, but y'all commenting a little too fast over there. Okay, what's up, New York? I mean, not New York, uh, Newark, Jersey. I'm sorry. Guys, did y'all vote, though? <laughs> I know I don't want to hear no complaining if you didn't take yourself out. I hope everybody vote. voted, man. Like, okay. Seriously. Dirt going to ease, ease the anxiety first, okay? So hold tight. Stay down. The words a little dirt. Okay, somebody says she's pretty. You know what? The shade room be showing me love. Thank you, Shay Room. Thank you, okay. roommate. The roommate. Okay. Hey. Hey. Argentina. Argentina? What's going on, dude? We, got, <clears throat> we, we global. TSR, we global. Okay. We global. We out here. We waiting for Durkio to step in here. What's up, Delaware? I see you. Waiting for Dirk. Waiting for the election results. We waiting for the results. <laughs> <laughs> all that. All that. Hey. Somebody said play Internet Sensation by Lil Dirk. Internet Sensation? Okay, look. Look, look. D -d 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 DJ about to get up on here. <laughs> DJ right. Raylan T on the ones and twos. Let me get up on here real quick, y'all. Let me get this. Let me get this for y'all. Oh, somebody said I'm cute. Okay, y'all being real nice today. Is it? That's what I'm Let talking about. Let them know. Don't be, yes. don't be scared, girl. Let them know. Let them know. 
up. It's that Scorpio vibe. <laughs> you did just have a birthday. I did just have a birthday. Just in like a few words, how was your birthday? Just go, go. A few words. Uh, it was fun, lit, uh, blessed, all of that. Fun, lit, blessed. Africa! Lil Dark is in here! Okay, y'all. What we've been waiting for, especially during this time, okay? We're about to get dark. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Dirty yo, what's poppin', bro? What's the word? Man, how you feeling? I'm chilling for real in Houston. What you got going? Okay, we over here in LA just trying to figure out who's about to be our next president, bro. That's it. That's all, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to watching. <laughs> Look, we have you in the shade room because we need you to just like take away the anxiety, take all worry. Because you always got the fire music, you got the music that, you know, just set the tone. So we just gonna focus on you for the next few minutes. And like I said, take all of our stress away. So Dirk, I also <laughs> want to tell you, uh, congr not congratulations, but happy belated birthday. You just had a birthday. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just blessed to be and alive. And it looks really yeah. lit. Yeah. What'd you say? I said blessed to be alive and still here. <laughs> hey, can we get an amen to that? So you've accomplished so much though already. I know there's so many things you can say, but you know, you're 28. So what, what are you really excited to say that, dang, I really accomplished that. I've done that in my career. Um, just made, be, being successful out of Chicago, just coming out of Chicago, um, bringing my people with me, putting my guys on and, you know what I'm saying? Just, just living. You know I'm saying we've been through a lot coming from where we come from. You know our background. That's dope. That's dope. I know we had just seen NLE. NLE says that you're so funny. He be chopping it up with you too. So I know you be, you know, really tapped in with everybody and all the artists that be coming out. I'm just, just stay tuned. Who I fuck with and just rock with. You know I'm saying just keep it connected because there's so much fake shit, so much bullshit going on. Just you know, keeping the family. Definitely, bro. And speaking of keeping it connected, man, six years later, the record came full circle. You and Drake, bro. I know you had made a post and you were saying, like, at that time, people told you just to give up more music. But what helped you to keep motivated and just say, hey, look, I'm about to keep going. I ain't stopping. Uh, I don't know. I feel like when it's in you, it's in you. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, if you, if you do it, it's gonna, you're going gonna to do it or you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like I'm just that one that just uh, keep going with it. And I'm glad I ain't stopped. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And a lot of us, we, I mean, look, laugh now, cry later. We glad you ain't stopped. The voice, yeah, <laughs> stay down, all of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So congrats on everything, for sure. Yeah, it's it's just, 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 you know, just feed, feeding the fans and being able to spread my wings and take care of my family. You know, that's more important than anything. Right. Okay. They got a chance Let's get too. into this laugh now, cry <laughs> later, because Dirk. You let's talk about this verse. You went in on this verse. I feel I like appreciate. everybody know the lines. Everybody know it verbatim. So I just need to know what was Drake's response when you sent in that verse. No, nah, he went crazy. He was like, he was like <laughs> yeah, he, he he was just saying like, put some more. But it was it was like when COVID first hit, like not not first hit, but like serious. They closed down all the studios, so we had left. And he's like, put some more bars. I'm like, I'm gone already. <laughs> I was mad as hell, but you know we made it work. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd rather do a, a a legendary eight bars instead of a, just a hard sixteen. You know? Legendary. Legendary. Okay. Man. <laughs> like, we're not, we're not on Twitter over here, emojis, gifts, like all that. Like it, it had the internet going crazy, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. So with working with Drake, and you know how it goes when you know you hop on a track with him. These artists either you know they cross over, so. Do you feel a little bit more pressure to cross over or and you know get out of hip hop and do you know pop music and, and, and collaborate with different artists or are you okay just sticking in the lane that you you're in right now? Um, you know I'll always be me, but I just feel like no matter what it is, it ain't um what you do is how you do it. So if we do a pop song, I'm finna teach the pop artists what's going on in the trenches, you know. So it's just about being creative and being yourself. Now, if you hop on the phone with Drake and try to act like Drake, then your ass is going left, you know? But just stay me. That's my thing. Stay me. Stay me, stay down. Hey, man, speaking of staying down, stay down. Course, <laughs> speaking of staying down, of course, you know, somebody's team offered you $3 million just to go back and forth and troll, bro, but you maintained the loyalty. 
So what's your definition of loyalty? Um, just being real, just keeping it real, not being sneaky, not being snaked out. Um, you know, you ain't nobody perfect. But you know, you just do, do your best just to keep your name good everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Not just the streets, just business wise. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real. Like I want I wanna come around and feel that family energy, that good energy. I don't wanna come around, gotta watch you and see as you sneaky, I don't wanna, yeah, you know. Nah, so, definitely. I ain't gonna lie. I, my, me growing up in Chicago, I'm already, I'm already knowing what's bullshit a lot early. I mean, look, I mean, yeah. the, the streets and the trenches, bro. Do you feel like staying loyal to the streets and the trenches since you becoming more successful by the day? Like, is it hard to maintain? No. See, when, when I say like loyal to the streets and the trenches, I ain't saying like oh, everybody who in the streets I'm rocking with. It's like sending money to the jails, take care of the family. Um, you know, like doing shit that you do to make you feel good and taking care of the people who love you and who you love, who ain't with you in the matches and, and the fancy cars, which is still in, like, in the city. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by I'm loyal to the church. For sure. And definitely, like, it's it's hard to pick and choose who real and who not. But you being from Chicago, I mean, you got to get a sense of who real and who not. <laughs> <laughs> that shit come early. Now, guys, this is what, you know, bothers me is that people – I feel like are now just clinging to you because they hear you on Laugh Not Quite Letter. You've been in the game. You've been killing it. And for those of you who don't know, your music has always been so melodic. You've always incorporated singing. Do you feel that you get the credit you deserve for your style and how you've been, like, staying true to your sound? Um, no, yeah, definitely. And definitely more now. But it, it's always going to be like that. Like, you no, know, Drake helped us a lot. You know what I'm saying? A million times more than what it is. And... I'm the type of guy that love the people who don't know me. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get new fans. That's where you know where you at with it. Now, if you bump to the same people who know you, it's going to be like, I'm still the same. So that's like, if you do song with people who pop or you do somebody with a song with somebody that's bigger, that's when you get more fans who never even knew your, your history. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important to do shit like this and like interviews and to put them down like who you is. No. Nah, yeah, I'm about to say definitely because. <laughs> With that whole laugh now, cry later, I know you gained like a whole different fan base. What? Like since then, you know what like I'm saying? Crazy. And you more and you more vocal on social media now, bro. It be your your captions, it's your <laughs> tweets, it's all of that into one, <laughs> man. <laughs> everything strategic. I don't give a fuck if it's from the shoelace to the shoe. Everything just strategic. Like it's something to talk about without being goofy with it. You know. Nah, for sure. And I also want to talk about being strategic. You you made a bold statement, bro. You said, I'm Durkio, but the Chicago Jay-Z. Like, what's some similarities? When you was recording that in your head, bro, what were some similarities to compare you to say, I'm Chicago Jay-Z? Um, it just, like, the energy, the people around me, the fans, just be, you know, I see everything. And they say shit like that, like, you like Jay-Z in Chicago. And I used to be like, damn, why they say Kanye? And they like, the Kanye from Chicago already, you know? So it's like, whatever I see, I have conversations with, like, with people and just, like, vent to them, see what they going through, and I just go in the studio and just go crazy, you know? Nah, for sure. I mean, I feel like a lot of people rock with that statement, so. It's a bold, it's a bold yeah. statement out yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, just being, it's just being confident about who I am and, and, and the music. And just, just being confident and just showing them and telling them, like, this is what it is and this is what it ain't. Been wanting to do it for so long, you know? Yeah, for sure. Well, Dirk, what's what's an obstacle for you that you've had to overcome? You know, you've had so much success, but what's something that you've had to overcome while being in this industry? Um, Taking care of everybody. Mm. And what I mean by that is take care of everybody who ain't really for me. Cause I'm thinking like everybody for me. Uh, we made it. The music going crazy. Everybody love me, but I had to buckle down and really see like, oh, uh, some some motherfuckers think it's finesse. Some of them really ain't my homie. You know what I'm saying so that's like the biggest thing I had to overcome. And now it's like it make you comfortable to know everybody around you really for you. You know. Yeah. Gotta keep that circle small. I'm about to say, you gotta keep that circle small. <laughs> and yeah. Speaking of somebody in your circle, bro, like that's on your label. He just dropped a new album. I'm talking about King Von. Like, how excited were you for him yeah. to drop that project? Welcome to Old Block Out right now. You're going crazy. Like, I, I was there every step from, from jail to now. You know what I'm saying? He got, he got the streets going crazy. 
He definitely got the streets on lock, bro. And I know, like, right now you guys still can't see each other, but how often do you guys speak? We don't speak at all. We don't put, you know, like, it's you know. No, no, no contact. So I just just give motivation, support, everything he needs with songs, whatever. You know what I'm saying, I don't give a fuck if you need a kidney, I'm there. I mean, that's good, bro, because I actually just seen something on YouTube. Um, I think it was Welcome to Old Block, Karen Civil, and then you actually were still, like, you actually were speaking on King Von in that. So I thought, like, y'all at least would be texting or, like, FaceTiming. Or, like, how was it to even, like, when he was in the studio just hearing the songs and you couldn't actually, like, just be there? Yeah, you know, we got the same we got the same guys. So it's like, I know, like, what would be going on, like, you know what I'm saying, like, as far as the music and the living situation. It just, we got to hold together as much as we can. You know what I'm saying? Just stay focused and, and don't fuck up and, and let people, like, in our heads to fuck up. So, we good, man. He going crazy. We going crazy. But when this shit over with, we going up. I feel that. No outside voices. You feel me? <laughs> I can't wait until this is over. Everybody. I can't wait. Sure. <laughs> so, Dirk, let's talk about, let's get into this project. You got a project coming. You drop, stay down. We, everybody now anticipates, yeah. <laughs> you know, this project. So what can you tell us about it? What are some features, at least, can you give us some features that are going to be on this upcoming project? Um, so I'm more like a secretive guy to come out. But uh, I, got no, I got another one with Drake, but it's more, it's more like street. Um, okay. You know, of course, Vaughn. Um, that's really it right now. I don't want, I want to go to the surprise. Dirk said he ain't trying to. But, 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 but. He's like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I got to do So he's trying to be like the election. Like, y'all just going to have to win. <laughs> y'all going to have to win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just, it, 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 it's going to be crazy. It's going to be turnt. Like, I'm so thirsty to get a streets this shit. Like, I be going to leak the shit myself. Might as well. They already leaked everything we got. Hey, bro, like, them people behind the computers and the phones leaking music and everything, they be on it, bro. I don't, even pay no, I don't even pay no attention. Like, I had them so mad last um, when I dropped um, Just Cause I Waited 2 because they had leaked, like, three songs. And I'm still telling the people, like, I'm the only one that, I'm the only artist that ain't got no songs leaked. They on there arguing, but I like I don't see it. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> I'm about to say, you, you called it too pissing, soon, man. But... P pissing them people off. <laughs> and speaking of, like, stay down, bro, you got Young Thug, you got Black on there. We all want to know, like, this classic iconic meme that's going around day by day what were you and thug looking at on a computer bro you just just go ahead and tell us no honestly he, he was uh i don't know if i was telling business his business but it was more on, like on some touring shit he got going on and he was showing me the money he was getting and you and you was like dang that's a yeah, lot cause of money. He was, <laughs> not yeah because he was, he was he was trying to explain to me like you know the business part i ain't know about the touring and all that shit yeah, and when he showed me the money, I'm like, I need to jump into that. It's it's crazy how like one picture, whoever took that picture and posted a picture, and then it's like all these different comments, bro. Like that thing's still going crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. To this yeah. Day. I, I be I be want to post it too, like on my main page. Like this shit. You should talking. post it right when the project post one that's like related to yeah. the project. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, you definitely got to post one related to the project. See, I'm going to do it. I'm going to tag y'all for that idea, too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm so excited for you, Dirk. Like, the streets are going crazy. They are really anticipating this. And I said, especially in the times that we're facing today, like, music is sometimes the only thing that gets us through. Yeah. And Dirk, you've done that. So we are so excited for you. I appreciate it. Quar quarantine, standing in the house, had me, like, super focused a, a thousand percent more. Yeah, I think quarantine had, like, all of us focused outside of, like, everything. I feel like it was a blessing and a curse for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But before you go, I want to talk about another caption that you posted, right? You said, no more buying Birkins, we buy properties, man. Like, let, let, let's just talk about that. Like, how, like, is it important to, <laughs> does materialistic See, no, I, things, I, I, go ahead. No, I, I ain't never say don't buy Birkins or none of that. Like, you do what you want to do with your money. I just said I asked her, and she wanted property. I got a property. Like, but if she want two burgers right now, I'm going to give her two burgers. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it ain't, it ain't, it ain't to discourage nobody to try to get out on nobody. But 
I'm gonna get so whatever India wants, she's period. <laughs> yeah, it's a different. It's a different. She can buy herself too, you know. So it ain't just like I'm just, huh, huh. Like how our relationship is, I can't speak on nobody else. Shit, if I want something, she gonna go get it. Like no questions asked. And I and I like that though, bro, because a lot of people feel like we gotta buy materialistic things in order to define the relationship, or it defines love, and that's really not even the situation. Man, she she would take me staying in the house for three days straight than anything, anything materialistic. So shit. Now that's real love. Yeah, that's no, a working can't buy that. I'm about to say no. Nah, 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 and then you getting property, so you still getting revenue like by the day. The Birkin ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you know, it just, it just if a few. If, if she want it, like I feel that you should get it for. Her, but make sure it's the right girl. Like she just can't come through your phone. Like, give me a Birkin. Yeah, the fuck you think you're talking to? You know? But <laughs> nah, big facts. <laughs> that's why I say it. it's, it's it's how you do it. That's why I say it's different. Some niggas probably like that shit, but ah, shit different. Like she want, I'm I'm type of surprised with it. Just bring it home or. But that probably lasts long. Yeah, it, it lasts way longer. You know, what's for you is for you. Hey, Dirt, we appreciate you for stepping into the shade room. The voice, we on the lookout for that. Make sure you get stayed down. Uh, laugh appreciate now, it. cry later. It's still going crazy. Thank y'all. And I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a DM y'all her, uh, her cosmetic shit. Post that shit for me. Oh yes, Queen <laughs> India got cosmetics. All right, I'm support. Hey, I'm. I'm supporting man like I'm supporting his design. Yeah, that's that's what you supposed to do, bro. That, that's real love. He like man. He's a real gentleman. Gentleman, yeah, right he, here. He like man, y'all got me to the table. Y'all gotta post my girl. Oh my girl. <laughs> <laughs> put, uh, put together that meme together for the boys. We gotta see got that young thug dark <laughs> me. Shout out, shout out, Thug and Black. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the trenches. Shout out, baby. You know, going crazy. You know, it's what it is. We holding everybody down. And go get welcome to Old Block. Oh yeah, yeah. Go get that welcome to Old Block. Shout out to King Vaughn. Shout out to Durkio. We appreciate you, my guy. Thank you for stepping to the shade room, Dark. We appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. All right, bro. Be easy. Guys, look. Oh, see, didn't y'all forget about the election? I forgot that there was an election I'm about to say, and then, and then we, we get off this, we're going to go right back to the TV. We're going to refresh it on Google. Like, oh, what's the update? What's the, Nevada, <laughs> are you in? <laughs> is you is or is you ain't? Guys, this is Raylan T. I'm always here with. It's your boy Baker. And hey, look, like Dirk said, stay down. It's out right now. Make sure you support your friends, support your lover. All of that. And until next time, man, we stepping into the shade room. We stepping out the shade room. room. And we about to go figure out what's up with this election. But yeah. uh, hashtag Team Biden. That's what we on. <laughs> <laughs>